Hey guys, it's Shama here, CEO of Scaling Retail. I am beyond excited to introduce you guys to Janet, the founder and chief of leading up all the amazing things over here at the Cabana Show. Janet, thank you so much for taking time out of your day. You are so swamped. All your brands are loving you. Everything seems like it's on fire. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm just happy that the brands are here, that we were able to actually do the show because of COVID and all the different, you know, things that have been going on. It's been a struggle just knowing that we can actually put on a show. So I'm just happy we were able to do it, that the brands showed up and all the buyers came. Oh my God, it's amazing. I almost feel like any brand that said yes to showing and took that active step is just yielding tremendous rewards right now. What's the feedback you're getting from the brands today? I think the feedback is that they're so happy that they were able to show and all the retailers that came, they're actually placing orders, um, placing, I think they're, the numbers are actually better than they have been in the past, even in 2019 pre-pandemic numbers. And I think that all the retailers realize that they actually need to place the orders right now to make sure that they secure orders for spring. So it's been really good. It's so amazing. You know, I, I feel like this show has always been home to some of the most interesting, fun, cool brands. And like when it comes to just how the industry has just embraced like resort wear, it's really day wear, right? It's like, it really I mean, is. it's like, this is basically like day wear. I mean, it's, which I love, which I think is like so incredibly important, right? So your show, I think, actually has just played such a significant role also in like how we look at like fashion and day-to-day -day culture. No, it really is. I mean, I feel like in the beginning, people looked at resort wear just as vacation wear, but that's now just kind of transcended and it is day wear. Like this is what people wear in the day, but if you think about it, resort wear is all year round because of the different seasons around the world. So there's always somewhere where you're going where you need resort wear. So and dare just, I say resort wear is maybe a state of mind. <laughs> it is. It's a state of mind that we all actually want to be in. <laughs> I, I prefer to be in like somewhere warm and sunny all the time. Just close my eyes, project myself in my pretty dress. Exactly. Boom, there and we're the there. <laughs> <laughs> I love magical thinking. You know, one of the things that I think is so important is like how we're looking at retail rebounding. And you said something really interesting about people placing more orders now and you know as people are looking and the market and brands are looking into a 2022 you know how are you kind of future forecasting um, categories and, and retail rebounding what's it feel like for you taste it well I, listen this is a lot of you know conversations with brands showrooms retailers and really just kind of understanding where everyone is and I think everyone kind of went through this past season and there wasn't enough merchandise. Everyone sold out of merchandise because they didn't realize how, especially the U.S., how the U.S. was going to come back, you know, because of COVID. And I think all the retailers are planning for 2022, expecting a busy travel season, because if you think about it, all the Americans have been locked down for the last year and a half and everyone is itching itching to get out there. I mean, I know I am, you know, so as soon as we are able to, like everyone's going to be traveling to Europe, to the Caribbean, all these beautiful locations mm. that we've all been missing. So all the retailers are preparing for that. And we've had such an amazing turnout from a lot of resort stores, hotel stores around the world. Like I was talking to a brand this morning, he's like, we have stores from Singapore here, from Dubai. That was so unexpected wow. for them. Yes, yeah. yes. I know. Oh my God. I, I was like, yes. So much. Oh my God, it really warms my little retail heart, you know? And, I know. And in terms of like, you know, fashion and what we do, it's, it's so business and yet it's so emotional. And what I think is so incredible about this show is I know you've always been very selective about who the brands are. I mean, I have to say, Janet, when it comes to like the word on the street, it's like Cabana is a highly selective show that really cherry picks its brands like super wisely. I think that that is really a testament to the longevity, the curation, the attention to detail, cultivating those buyer relationships. Please, darling, tell me, what is it you're looking for in these brands? Because there is a special <laughs> chemical mix here of neurons that need to be well put together to get to this place. So what are you looking for? Um, an aesthetic. Okay. It comes down to an aesthetic. It's not about price point. 
You know, some people think that, you know, it has to be a certain price point. It's not. There's, you know, we have so many different types of retailers at this show. You know, there's, um, we have so many high-end e-commerce. We have small boutique stores, hotel stores, and everybody's looking for something different. So what I'm looking for is an aesthetic, a beautiful aesthetic, well-made garments, um, understanding a brand that's, that knows that they need to be able to ship. You know, if a, if a retailer is giving you part of their budget, they need to be confident that you can actually ship the merchandise that's going to sell. So I think it's, it's not just a look, but obviously that's a part of it, but it's just a, an aesthetic and well-made garments. I love that, I love that. And lastly, I mean, my gosh, to have Cabana and Liberty together, yeah. right? It's our like, first time. Like, <laughs> holy bananas, like, that's kind of like a wild west. Yeah. How, how do you feel about it? Like, what, what's this initial, like, you know, combination? Been feeling like, obviously, different aesthetics, different markets, you know, what, what does it feel like in your heart? How, how is it? I think it's an amazing opportunity where Liberty and Cabana are under the same umbrella, but we've always shown separately. So this was an opportunity for us to actually show together in the same space. And it's actually been really, really nice. Like the, the Liberty brands, listen, a lot of the men's brands have been doing really well over there. And the women's brands, listen, a lot of these retail stores they have one buyer that does men's and women's. Totally. So we're making it a little bit easier for them. So. I totally agree. I yeah. think it's it's such a smart decision. And we've never done that before. This is our first time. So wow. hopefully there'll be more. Yes. Oh my God, it was amazing. I was talking to a brand over at Liberty and he was telling me in his 10 years of showing that yesterday he wrote more orders. Wow. <laughs> yes, in the last 10 years. And, That's so um, nice to hear. And it's, uh, I have to say, I mean, it's its rare to be in a trade show environment and feel such optimism. Normally it's like I know. stress and you're like, oh my no. God, what's coming? And Not in uh, Miami. <laughs> yeah, no joke. I'm like, this is like totally the place to This be. is the happy show. <laughs> <laughs> well, Janet, I don't want to take too much of your time. I'm so thrilled to have you sit with us and chat with us. Um, any parting words as far as like, I don't know the future of Cabana, right? Like how you're, how you're feeling about. Um, I mean, I can tell you first of all, there's a lot of things I'd love to do cash and carry on. So, you know, is there is there a future for cash and carry at the show? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be something that everyone's just gonna have to wait and yeah, see. Yeah, totally. No, it's amazing. I love it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate and, and adore the show. Adore what Thank you've done. You. Congratulations. This year has been. This is incredible. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll talk to you guys later and have a great day. Bye.